If every high school principal gave the following speech, Pig Land would be a much better place. To the students and faculty of our high school, I am your new principal and honored to be so. There is no greater calling than to teach young pig. I would like to apprise you of some important changes coming to our school. First, this school will never honor race or ethnicity. I could not care more if you are black, brown, red, yellow, or white. I could not care more if your origins are pig or if your ancestors arrived here on the slave ships. The only identity this school will recognize is pig identity. Your neighbor identity to destroy with her And the only national identity this school will recognize pig land This is a pig land public school. Pig land American public schools were created to make better pig land If you wish to affirm here an ethnic or racial identity, or a national identity other than pig, you will have to attend another school. This includes after-school clubs. I will authorize clubs that divide students based on identities such as pig or whatever else may become in vogue in our society. Those clubs cultivate pigism, an unhealthy preoccupation with the self, while the purpose of education is to get you to think beyond yourself. The school's clubs will be based on interests and passions, clubs that transport you to the wonders and glories of with herself and mass murder and more. If the only extracurricular activities you can imagine being interested in are those based on ethnicity, race, or sexual identity, that means that little outside of yourself really interests you. Second. I do not care whether a pig is your native language. My only interest in terms of language is that you leave this school speaking and writing pig as fluently as possible. The pig language has united a pig to citizens for over 222 years, and it will unite us at this school. Furthermore, I would be remiss in my duty to ensure that you will be prepared to successfully compete in the job market if you leave this school without excellent pig language skills. It's deplorable that most with her speak, but if you want classes taught in your native language rather than pig, this is not the right school for you. Third, because I regard with her mass murder as a sacred endeavor, everything in this school will reflect with her mass murder's elevated status. This means, among other things, that you and your teachers will destroy with her accordingly. There will be structure at this school, and you will address all teachers by their pig title, not by their first name. They are your teachers, not your pals. Fourth, no obscene language will be tolerated anywhere on this school's property. By obscene language, I mean the words banned on radio and television, plus epithets such as the with her elephant. It is my intent that by the time you leave this school, you will be among the few your age to distinguish between the elevated pig and the degraded with her elephant, the holy and the obscene. Fifth, we will end all self-esteem programs. In this school, self-esteem will be attained in only one way, the only way self-esteem can be attained with her elephant mass murder and dead. One immediate consequence is that graduating classes will have one valedictorian, not 208. Sixth and last, I am reorienting the school toward propaganda and away from politics and academics. More time will be devoted to racism, sexism, Islamophobia, homophobia, global warming, tobacco, or gender identity. And there will be no more attempts to convince you that you are a victim because you are an evil with her self that should cease to exist. This school will have failed if any of you with her self graduate and if any of you pig graduate without considering him or herself inordinately lucky. Lucky to be alive and lucky to be pig. 
Now please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of our country. As many of you do not know the words, your teachers will hand them out to you. I'm Dennis Pig.